Hey guys, welcome to another Mind Wrap Monday. I'm Bonnie Kelly, and this week we're talking about change your mind to change your life. Hey guys, welcome to another Mind Bright Monday. This week we're talking about something that I know you as a personal dev junkie are probably have heard a thousand times. However, I stumbled across a quote by Albert Einstein and I really felt it was important to elaborate on this theory. So the quote was, problems can't be solved with the same mindset that they were created. This is a powerful topic when you start to really break it down and it start to dissect it a little bit more, is that when we are faced with change and all of us are on a personal development journey to some extent, which means that when we're walking down this path is that we're gonna have a lot of, at, con, we're gonna have a lot of controversy or we're gonna have a lot of problems that we're gonna need to uh, face. Well, for us to be able to go over that hurdle to the next side, it means that we are going to have to face these problems with a new way of thinking. And this could pose a lot of problems because a new way of thinking means that we enter into the unknown. And I know how much all of us hate going into the mystery of the unknown because this is where our fear comes alive. And this is where we are easily afraid of being weak or wrong or vulnerable or the potential of failure is present. And so what we have to recognize is that this idea of change is going to spark a lot of insecurities within us as we are on this journey. However, it is about facing these problems with a new mindset that's gonna allow you to have success and not allowing those fears to keep you trapped in the familiar. All right, so this week we're gonna share three different ideas or tips to help you change your mind so you can change your life. And the first one is, give up on the idea of being a know-it-all. Growing up, I was called Mrs. Know-it-all. That was always the big joke with my family because it seemed like I had an answer for everything. However, this is one of the concepts that we have to get our minds into and give up on this idea that you're gonna have all the answers when it comes to facing a problem. In fact, you only know what you know and there's no way you're gonna overcome that problem without new information. So let's face it, none of us like to pretend that we don't have an answer because a lot of times with not having an answer equals us wrong or bad or, uh, or not being good enough. We fight this idea of not knowing an answer and either pretend or we fake it till we make it or we go um, and we go and try to come up with a solution on our own without asking for help. Well, this is, this is what can get you into that same problem over and over again. And so what we want to begin to do is give up on this idea that you can know it all. In fact, there is so much research that says that, you know, you could study every single day of your life, every moment of your life, and still never acquire the amount of knowledge that is present in the universe. There's an infinite, uh, infinite amount of information. So the odds of you knowing it all are absolutely asinine. You are not going to be able to have all the answers for everything. And when you give up on this idea that you can or do, then you can begin to receive a new perspective to overcome that problem. All right, so this leads me to my second one, which is be more like Alice and come up with six impossible things before breakfast. I absolutely loved that Alice in Wonderland, the theme that her father and her had when every morning they'd wake up and he would challenge her to come up with six impossible things before breakfast. Well, this is a great way of being able to face what you don't know, is we have to think outside of the box. That's right, we have to find another way of thinking about things outside of the parameters of what we know. And the only way to do that is to start thinking of the impossible or improbable. Probable, is that a word? Probable. Improbable. You can leave that, that's funny. <laughs> I'm like, is that a word? No, improbable, okay. Um, because this is gonna stretch your imagination. And if you actually get into a habit of doing this more often, you're gonna be able to face these problems with a, um, that don't have any certainty around them with a lot more ease. So I often say, come up with three other ways, or three other reasons why this is happening, or, or three other reasons why this person's behaving this way, or, or three other reasons why you acted that way. And by doing that and practicing that mindfulness exercise, what you're doing is just expanding your consciousness and giving yourself a greater possibility to get outside of the box and into 
uh, solving the problem. Okay, this goes to my third and final tip, which is become an active listener. Again, a lot of times we want to have the solutions or be known for the person with the solution. But really, when you become more of an active listener, there's a lot of great information that we typically dismiss because we're too busy talking. Now, this is something that I even have to practice often in my own life because as you know, I love to talk. Well, but when I'm always talking and I'm not listening, then I'm missing out on vital information that could help me learn to find a new solution. Again, we have to, to be able to solve a problem, we have to find new ways of thinking about things. And that means getting new information from outside sources. So when you become a better listener, it gives you a better opportunity to gather more intel from the outside world so you can have more success. All right, hopefully this video has helped. Once again, it was brought to you from a viewer like you. People ask us questions all the time about how to solve their personal development problems. And so if you have one, just email it to us at getinspired at bonniekelly.me. All right, I know you thought I forgot, but I didn't. Here's this week's tweetable, which is, changing your life requires imagination to see what is possible before it is. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget you can friend, fan, follow, tweet, and Snapchat us on all social media platforms. We're here for you every step of the way. Until next week, I'm Bonnie Kelly.